Hey little buggers, this is Even7 here bringing another Loot Crate unboxing. As you can see, this time we got a Loot Gaming for the month of October. I know we just did an unboxing a couple days ago, but I just got this one and we're already in November and it's for October, so might as well get it out of the way before we get too far into November. But anyways, this one is themed Rumble, which I'm not really sure why, because it has some Overwatch stuff, Titanfall 2 stuff, Zelda stuff, and Sonic stuff. I'm a big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. Overwatch wasn't too bad. Not too big on Zelda, and the first Titanfall fell flat on its face. But maybe Titanfall will be better second time around. The trailers and stuff look good, but I'm not too sure. But let's get into the crate. We got some... holy shit. What are those? Guns? Bones? I don't know what the fuck. It says die, die, die though. That's interesting. Oh, that's fucking Reaper. Reaper when he ults. Okay, so we got like an Overwatch themed crate. And, uh, first things first, everything, every crate comes with a t-shirt, like this Fallout-style shirt with all the Vault Boys. It's like a collage of Vault Boys from last month. But this month, we got... Ooh, I see Titan. This is gonna be... Titanfall 2 shirt! So that's like a guy you could probably play as, or maybe someone part of the story, I'm not too sure. I've never played the first Titanfall, but this shirt looks fucking huge. What size did they send me? This is a large. It feels and looks a lot bigger than a large, but uh, whatever. Tag says large, I'll take it as a large. Decent shirt. Ooh, let's get the figure going, because this guy looks nice. So we got another Overwatch figure to go with our Tracer. It's a little Reaper Pop Funko guy. What's it called? It's called a Pop Games figure. He's vinyl. We already got a Tracer one. With different color, uh pants than normal. They're green instead of orange. But that's pretty cool. Nice detailing on his jacket and stuff and his guns look nice. His face looks decent I guess. It's a little wide but it's a figure of course. They're supposed to be kinda cute. Little Pop Funko figure. Nice. What else we got in here? What the fuck? Pac-Man. Adhesive bandages. What? So they're actually... We got a bunch of band-aids. With, like, Pac-Man embroidery. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, hey, sure. You can... Okay, that's what the band-aid actually looks like. <laughs> They're a dollar. So, uh, they gave away the pricing on that one. And I don't think this is, uh... Loot Crate exclusive, either. This is just something they threw in. It's from Boston America Corp. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> Pac-Man bandages! That was not advertised. There's no Pac-Man on the board. I don't know why the fuck we got that. But, oh shit. We got our Sonic item. Which is... Some Sonic the Hedgehog gloves. Game over. Oh, they're fingerless. Or tipless, I should say. Which are actually really comfy. 
That's the one thing I don't like about gloves. Is the fucking fingertips are always huge and bulky. But now... Game over. With Robotnik faces. Not Eggman, he's fucking Dr. Robotnik. And they're nice size. I don't have big hands, they're not small hands, I just got normal average hands. My knuckles are a little thick, but these aren't too tight. They're nice and fit. Not bad. Fuck it, we'll keep them on. Oh shit, there's our Zelda item. We got another apparel item. Did we really just get three apparel items and one fucking... We got some Ganondorf. Or Ganon. Whoever the fuck iteration of Ganon that is. But he's on some socks. And the rest are black and there's some writing on the... And there's this like th cape and door or something. There's something going on behind him. But we got some socks as well. Three fucking apparel items. <clears throat> I forgot all this time about the pin. But here it is. It is... BAM! Kinda like two fucking... What the hell is it? Oh, it's two boxing gloves. And a versus sign. October 2016. Rumble. Decent little pin. It actually fits the theme, unlike the rest of the fucking stuff in here. Another thing that was not advertised. What? Super Mario! It is from... The new Super Mario Bros. 2, apparently. I'm guessing it's a magnet? Maybe not? I don't know what this is. It's an official Nintendo licensed product, though. It's gotta be something decent. Maybe I can peel it? Maybe it is a magnet, but it's just nothing wants to stick to it. I'm not too sure. But last but not least, there is one more thing in here. And that looks like fucking Duke Nukem. What the fuck? This should be the magazine with all the stuff inside. But as well as that, it is a poster for what? Oh, I'll hold it up like this. Is that Duke Nukem? Who is this dude? Where is he? Is that a Titanfall guy? What the fuck is happening here? This poster is pretty big. Holy shit. That's not Duke Nukem. I don't know what the fuck this thing is. It's a bunch of characters for something. Maybe it's Titanfall. Alright. And then on the back... It's got the Reaper, the pin, the shirt, the gloves, the socks. It is actually a magnet. And then what the fuck's over here? The Mega Crate thing. Some fan art or whatever uh, winners for the picture bullshit. Oh, so that's what the Band-Aids are for. You gotta use the Band-Aids. For your picture. And you can win a new fucking Nintendo Wii U with Super Smash Bros. So that's why the fucking things work, because it's a little contest. So that's pretty decent. Another little poster. I like that they're doing these poster things instead of just a big old magazine. It feels like it's another item, really, rather than just some interview bullshit and... What the fuck? 
How does this thing go back? God damn it. There we go. Fuck. That was a bit of a pain in the ass folding that shit back up. But this won't be a pain in the ass. We're gonna turn this inside out real quick. Bam! All done! We got the die, die, die when Reaper ults. There's a shit ton of guns and bullets. Loot comes for us all. Not bad at all. A nice Reaper themed crate to go with the Overwatch item in the crate. So at least it somewhat matches. And Rumble... Overwatch kind of fits Rumble because it's a... It's a battle. I guess that's a Rumble. Whatever. So it's a bunch of good items. Good figure. Three apparel items. A pin. And some band-aids for a contest that you can win a Wii U with Super Smash Brothers. So that's not too bad at all. And it's got a nice Reaper theme box. Overall, pretty good. Apart from the theme being a little off, and I'm a little disappointed they didn't go with the horror theme, seeing as it was October, kind of like how Loot Crate did with all the horror stuff. But uh, maybe next month they'll have some... Uh, better items and whatnot, and maybe a little less apparel. I could do with uh, less than three. I think two is the max apparel, like maybe socks and a shirt. Like a shirt is good enough. You don't really need any more apparel. The gloves, I'm actually pretty happy I got these. These actually fit really nice. But next month, we're definitely not going to be getting three apparel because as advertised, it is saying for the first time ever, we're getting two figures instead of just one like our new Reaper buddy here. We're going to get two of those guys. Obviously, they're going to be different, not two of them. But um, it's going to be something from Dragon Age, Assassin's Creed, Okami, and Castlevania Lords of the Shadow 2, which I have not played any of these series really. Well, that's a lie. I played a little bit of Dragon Age, like the earlier ones and a tiny bit of Origins, but I haven't tried, uh, what the fuck is the new one? Inquisition or some shit like that. And I played the first, up to the first through, up to Assassin's Creed 3 in Assassin's Creed. I'm like halfway through Assassin's Creed 3, but that game is boring as fuck. And it's a chore to go through. But Castlevania, I haven't really touched on any of those games. And Okami, I've never played, but it's one of those games I've always meant to play because the art style is really fucking awesome. It's all hand-drawn, I think, or something, but um, it's got a really good story. It's pretty, like, anime-inspired, I'm pretty sure. Or at least Japanese, like, culture-inspired. So, that should be a pretty good crate. And it might even be better than this month's crate. Because it was pretty good, but three apparel items... I don't need more socks and gloves and a shirt. Fucking send me a pair of pants while you're at it. But we'll see if November's Mythic Crate will actually be better than the Rumble Crate. Next time! <laughs>